Sagittarius. What's good, Sag? I'm here with your October 2018 reading. It's Unique Divination, and you're tuned in to Urban Mystic TV. And um, how'd you like last month's reading? I hope it resonated with you. Comment, let me know what you think. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to start with the Rebel Tarot, and automatically it's telling me to tell you to forgive and let that shit go. So somebody has definitely wronged you. And you've been holding on to it for a very long time, and you cannot let it go. For In October, you need to let it go, okay? Shame, regret, and guilt also, those are just bullshit. So if anybody's trying to guilt you or shame you into feeling bad or to being near them or around them, don't even fall for it, you know? But on the other hand, like I said, if somebody's wronged you, you're definitely going to have to let it go, okay? Let it go. And then I want to get into next your crystal healing card. And it's a copper-based stone attracting good fortune since, antiqu since antiquity. Turquoise is the card, by the way. I didn't even tell y'all what it was. I'm sorry about that. Tur turquoise was popular for protective amulets sacred to Hathor. Oh, wow. Before I even go any further, look who's your goddess guidance. Hathor. I randomly pick these cards. Y I don't set up and just like, hey, I'm going to match them all together. So that's pretty cool. So sacred to Hathor, which is Venus and to Buddha, it linked earth and sky and made a potent love charm. Your pathway is one with self-realization. Qualities you cultivate now drive your spiritual evolution forward. Draw on your karmic wisdom and past life skills. Release vows that no longer serve you and speak what used to be unspeakable. Watch your health and avoid polluted environments. Brilliant success and happiness are coming. Fortune favors you. You navigate the way forward with sure-footed confidence, but watch your personal safety and deal with problems immediately. Good friends accompany you. You are in the spotlight and others rely on you. Your true riches lie not in the bank, but in your heart. Frequency is medium to high for this card. Chakras that it helps are throat and third eye. Timing is Scorpio, Sagittarius, and Pisces, and the soul path is attuning to inner riches. And so basically, um, since this stone is sacred to Hathor, I might as well get into what she represents. And Hathor is about receptivity. And she says, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Okay. Be still and listen. Release guilt about receiving. And the Rebel Tarot told us shame, regret, and guilt, those are just bullshit, okay? So everything's kind of flowing for you here, Sag. Um, ask for help. Increase psychic awareness. Know that you're in a learning cycle right now. Healing is occurring. Be more in your feminine energy, which is receiving. You're always giving. Let's start receiving, especially for the month of October. Allow people to do things for you. Do not turn them down. Child conception, pregnancy or birth, including adoption or favorable custody arrangements are issues in your life at this time. Right? For certain sages. Okay, but receptivity, receiving. The universe wants you to know that joy... For the month of October is going to be the ultimate creator for you. Joy. You know, you're not going to be able to be productive to do anything. If you're not in a joyful state of mind. In Sagittarius, you have a lot of vibrant energy. Very energetic, very passionate person. So when you're not on your square, when you're down, something is really wrong. Because... You're generally an upbeat type of person. You know what I mean? So that's kind of scary when a Sagittarius is not in a good mood. 
Thoth deck, we've got the Hermit. And it just basically, um, for the month of October, you've got to start listening to your inner self. You've got to listen to your own guidance. You've got to look within. If you've been hanging out with a lot of people for the month of October, let's kind of cut it solo, you know? Um, let's not go out as much. Let's kind of just draw within and just do some self-reflecting for the month of October, right? Let your friends know that you've got to got to kind of look within right now and you're not really going to hang out. You've got to find yourself and being a lot of being around a lot of people, being in crowded areas, going out all the time for the month of October is not going to help you focus. It's not going to help you focus on the things that you need to do. So let's just um work on kind of being a solo dolo for the month of October, right? And so once you do that, it's going to put you in a really good place. You're going to be very rejuvenated. People are draining you because a lot of people depend on you. And so when you fall back for a little bit, um, you're a fire sign, but people are dimming your fire. So once you go within, kind of go solo, do some self-reflecting, it's going to make you extremely happy extremely happy you're going to be floating on cloud now you're going to be yourself again you're going to be that that rejuvenated bouncy vibrant energetic person that we all love about Sagittarius's my mother-in-law is a Sagittarius and I love her energy very vibrant right very good energy to be around and to draw from lastly we've got the devil card and so you may also have some vices that you need to deal with. Everybody has vices, but they've become out of control. Whether it's a drug addiction, I don't even know what, what it could be. You know what it is, what your vice is. You're addicted to sex, drugs, whatever it is. Um, people, relationships. Some people are addicted to being in relationships. That's a vice for them. They don't know how to be by themselves. And so I'm thinking that's where this might be coming along at because of the hermit card. Right, so if you're in a not so good relationship or you're kind of talking to somebody that's um, really not good for you, you're probably going to have to let that go, especially if it's somebody new in your life. If it's somebody that you've known for a long time, you're going to have to get them out of your life or at least for October, kind of cut them off so that you can get back to your happy place. Right? So vices, people, places, and things that no longer serve your purpose are detrimental to you and to your joy, you need to cut it off, right? Also, this kind of could represent people misconstruing your, your, um, your humor, you know, um, some people may not get you, so you might get that a little bit in October, people kind of looking at you a little bit awkward for things that you might find humorous or, you know, I don't know. But um, most importantly is cutting off people that no longer serve you any purpose. Okay, so just for reflection, we've got the turquoise card that represents Hathor, which was your goddess guidance, which re represents receptivity, allowing yourself to receive, and it'll increase your intuition, your energy, and your ability to give to others. Um, this card talked about letting go of guilt, which the rebel card also talked about letting go of guilt. Shame, regret, and guilt, those are just bullshit. Forgive and let that shit go. If somebody's wronged you, let it go. And that, not for them, but for yourself. Joy is the ultimate creator. Let's kind of go solo dolo for the month of October. Let's kind of be by ourselves. If we're in a relationship that's draining, we need to part ways, if not permanently, at least for the month of October. All right? And that's what the Capricorn card is for. And so once we do that, you will have the ultimate happiness. You will be your regular, um, jubilant, energetic, vibrant, Sagittarius self. Okay? So this concludes my reading for... 
Sagittarius for October 2018. Like, share, comment. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe so you can receive notifications for when I drop new videos and when I go live. Because when I go live, I do free readings, right? Sometimes. So thank you as always. Um, I'm humbled for your guys' support. And this is my last reading for October 2018. I've created a Patreon account. Uh, my full moon readings and new moon readings will be on the Patreon account. Okay, and that's by subscription for as little as a dollar, and the largest subscription is a hundred dollars. Okay, so Sag, I will see you in November.